Good morning, Farmer Frank here on Broadway and Midtown Kingston addressing you from the proposed bike lane where we have cars, trucks, and tractor trailers with materials being delivered and uh, customers from local businesses parking. This won't happen with the proposed bike lane and this is something that concerns me greatly City planners have no idea what they're doing when they try to take away half the parking in a busy business district. Probably the second busiest road in the city of Kingston, Broadway. Midtown Kingston, seven-eighths of a mile affected. Look into it before you lose it. Gotta use it or lose it. Right now we're using it, right? Going on a couple hundred years, probably more. Broadway is being used, all of a sudden it's going to be abused by the one percent, the one that gallivant and ride bikes. I've been riding bikes on Broadway for over half a century, it hasn't been a problem. I get hit twice, not on Broadway, but uh, as a pedestrian I got run over. And uh, that's something to look into, but the speed limit needs to be reduced and enforced, and other than that, there's no need to take away parking. So bike lanes are a no-no. You can ride along with the traffic. They tend to, uh, they talk about reducing the effective speed to 11 miles an hour with the new lights and the backed up bumper to bumper traffic. So there's no reason why people can't ride along with the uh, 10 or 11 mile an hour new speed limit and just leave things as they are. Fix the damn sidewalks while you're at it. Place is a mess. Dead trees and garbage. Here goes the bus. Take the bus. But in the meanwhile, think about not destroying local business and taking away half the parking. It's a fool's errand. I'm really pissed off and I'm not going to let up. We're going to take it to Congress and beyond. Uh, this is outrageous, the thought of uh, some 1% swooping in saying, hey, this is the way it's going to be. No, it isn't the way it's going to be. We're taking names like Madame Defarge over here, knitting and crocheting your names into history. So think about it before you try and destroy a local community's economy. It's already been destroyed once by IBM leaving, thanks to Ulster County and the city of Kingston being so ill-conceived and non-intelligent. The words escape me at the moment. I'm just so livid. We'll talk to you later. Ciao.